hard money versus soft money on this episode of Title Tuesdays. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as Your Title King. Today I have a very special episode. We are going to talk about hard money versus traditional soft money at a regular conventional lender. But first, here's a commercial from one of our clients. Here at A to Z Capital, we offer loans for all of your investment and residence needs. Unlike others, we offer competitive fees and unbeatable hard money rates. Our 35 plus years of experience in analyzing and structuring real estate investments makes us right for you. Call us today at 561-609-6699. Welcome back, thanks for sticking with me. That was a commercial that one of our clients produced talking about hard money. They do a little bit of private money and alternative type financing. And I wanted to produce this video talking about, because we get a lot of clients that ask us, what is the difference between hard money and traditional financing? And there is a big difference. Lenders usually do not do both. So let's first talk about hard money. Hard money is not the way it sounds. We laugh about this all the time. It's not hard to get. It's actually very easy to get. The reason they call it hard money is because it's larger uh, type fees. Usually it's a little bit higher fees, higher interest rate, quick money. They should almost call it quick money instead of hard money. But that's if you're an investor buying a quick fix and flip, or maybe you get yourself into some type of financial trouble and you need to pull money out of your house fast. This is where a lender is basically lending on the asset. They are basically lending on the house that you own. If there's equity in the house, they are going to lend on the equity in the house. They don't care about your credit. They don't care about your income. Although they wanna make sure you are going to pay that loan back, they are lending based on the asset to make sure there's equity in the house. And if they needed to foreclose, they would get that money back when they took your home back in foreclosure. What is the downside to a hard money loan? Well, the downside is typically the fees are a little bit higher. You may pay higher interest rates, so your payment is going to be significantly higher on a hard money loan versus if you went to a conventional bank. But there is a client for both. And now we're starting, getting to, we're starting to get into some different types of hybrid financing where there's a little bit lesser in fees and maybe a, a compounded interest rate somewhere in between hard money versus conventional. And, and that's a totally different type of product that we can introduce you to people that do. But hard money is quick, fast, we wanna close. So it could close in 24 to 48 hours. You need to get in, get out, and get that deal done as soon as possible. We have many recommendations for hard money lenders that we do business with on a daily basis. You saw the one commercial and we have others that we do business with all of the time that we would highly recommend. And I tell you, go to two or three of them, ask them about their loan products, ask them about their interest rates and their fees, and build a relationship with them because it's all about the relationship. No two lenders are the same. They're all different. They all have different programs. Some lend their own money, some lend other people's money. Some have higher fees, some have lower interest rates. So you really need to do your own homework to see who is the best fit for you and your next deal. So now we go to the flip side where we talk about conventional mortgages. Many years ago when I first got in the business, I was actually a mortgage broker. I got into the mortgage business and I learned that business and I love that business. And there are many different types of loan programs when we start looking at conventional financing. But that goes anywhere from your bank product. If you walked into your local bank and you got a loan, all the way down to maybe some mortgage brokers that work for other types of lenders that can put the loan together for you. The credit score typically has to be uh, fair to good all the way up to excellent. That would depend on your interest rate. Closing costs are typically a little bit lower than your alternative type financing. So you may have lower closing costs, you may have a lower interest rate, but now we're gonna talk about the downsides to it because you're gonna have a low payment, low interest rate, low fees, but what is the downside to a conventional loan? Well, first they're gonna have to do an appraisal. They will have to do an appraisal to the property and if your home does not appraise, guess what? You may not be able to close or get the money. So that's the first negative side to a conventional loan. So hopefully you're buying a house right and you will not have any issues with the appraisal. The second thing that you wanna talk about is they are going to look at your credit. They're gonna look at your credit score. They're going to look at all of your trade lines, all of your, your debt that you have, any collections that you have. 
Or if you're a great borrower, they're gonna look at your excellent credit and they are going to make a determination as to what interest rate you're gonna get, what payment you're gonna get based on that credit score. And the last thing they're gonna look at is your income. So you better make sure you have a job. It needs to be stable. We just had a deal that canceled literally at the closing table because they called the borrower's office and they found out that the borrower lost their job and nobody said anything. We don't know if they made the job up. We don't know if maybe they just lost their job. And unfortunately, this buyer that put their last dollar up to buy this home now lost it to the seller because they got denied financing at the closing table. So it was very, very sad to see. So when you're talking about conventional, yes, lower costs, lower fees, but you're gonna to need to get an appraisal, disclose your credit score, disclose your income and your tax returns. And, you, and as long as you can put a plan together to qualify for those types of loans, it'll take a little bit longer to close, maybe uh, 30 to 45 days, but they will get your loan closed and it could be a great long-term loan for you. Conventional loans are typically long-term. It could be 15 to 30 years. And the hard money are typically one year, quick fixes, quick rehabs, get in, get out, and then get paid. So I hope you learned something new today talking about hard money versus soft money, hard money versus your conventional bank when you go in to get your next mortgage. So if you like this video, share it on social media, click the red subscribe button. You're also gonna see the little alert button. Make sure you select the alert button because that is going to give you next week's episode when we launch it on Tuesday. So thanks for watching this episode. My name's Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title. And as always, I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.